I drew that picture, you would kind of have some idea of what the atom is. Because you've probably seen this since somewhere along the top of third grade. Yeah. First, you try to get into a science class. So yeah. I showed you this picture, and they said that's the atom. atom. And what is represented in that picture? The nucleus and then the electron path, the path of the electrons. The nucleus and the electron path. All right. So the blue thing we are representing as the nucleus. And these little red circles or ellipses. The uh, picture was used when that was called electron orbits. Okay, so the nice thing about this picture is it's great art. Bad thing about the picture is it's completely wrong. <laughs> But it's so useful that we keep it around. So the electrons are in, they're around the outside of the nucleus. They are not in orbits. They are in a cloud around the nucleus. If you remember your chemistry, they go into the, uh, the idea of all those electron orbitals. Mm. Yeah. yeah, so we're not going to worry about the electron orbitals or the shape very much. But it does acknowledge that the electrons are outside the nucleus and what's inside the nucleus? Protons and neutrons. So we have protons and neutrons inside the nucleus. So now the next question for me, which is an important one, is how big are these things? Tiny, tiny, tiny. yes. Yeah. So can we put a number on it? Um, micro? Micro? Isn't it like a mole? Mole it is like a dozen. It's a number of things. Pen Penta? Angstrom. Pika? Pika? He's using antique sets of units, the angstrom. Oh. Care to enlighten us as what the angstrom is? You remember the name, you just don't remember the reference. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the angstrom was an antique set of units that we won't use because it's not SI. So if we were to take this distance roughly from, say, the middle to the outside, and we're going to call this the radius of the atom. Roughly speaking, this is extremely rough. See, it's uh, less than a, it's less than a nanometer. That's our size of the atom, just kind of a ballpark. Something smaller than a nanometer. Mm -hmm. okay. But, you know, it's kind of nano-ish in, in size. And so sometimes you'll hear the, uh, the world of I, uh, you know, the, uh, nanotechnology. When you hear that, you're thinking structures that are about the size of an atom. That's what they mean. They're very small. Can't, uh, they're, they're getting interesting things that they can do with atom-sized structures or maybe few atom-sized structures. That's the world of nanotechnology. That's easy enough. So then the other question is this blue dot. How big is that blue dot? And if you had to hazard a guess. Um, I read if it's the size of a pea, it would be the equivalent of being inside a, a, a 
sports arena. I'm P inside the sports arena. Electrons. Okay, that's something useful, I guess. Um, something like one times ten to the minus fifteen meters. This is the radius of the nucleus. So what you're supposed to take away is that the nucleus is, is just extremely small compared to the size of the atom. So what is the atom made of? Mostly electrons and protons. Mostly empty space. So now why don't we just fall right through the floor? The atoms are just mostly empty space. Yes, good question. It's mostly empty space. I should be able to poke my finger right through it, but I can't. Okay, so that is another way in which this picture is wrong. What though was I trying to say that this picture is wrong about? About how, about the electrons uh, position? They're the electrons are in a cloud, right? They're not in orbits. What's the other? Fundamental thing having to do with the size that's wrong? Empty space. Lots of it. The proton is much larger than it should be in reality. Well, the rate, the relationship of, say, the size of the atom to the size of the nucleus. Right. As, as, you know, if, if I tried to draw it to scale, you know, I could barely get a dot on there, a pixel. So that's why it's just sort of meant to be showing you the structure. It's clearly wrong in the orbitals. It's also wrong in the size, the relative sizes. Looks like the nucleus is about uh, maybe a quarter of the size of the atom. That's clearly wrong. Nucleus is just way, way, way smaller than the size of the atom. All right, so let's uh, take a look at the periodic table or something from a periodic table. Let's see what is gold. You guys are using the, and I brought the 10th edition. 10 editions, they have not gotten this fixed yet. So there's a little error there. It's page 29. And uh, let's start with, it's a good place to start anyway, gold. And it, they have a 79 up here. And down below it, they have 96967. So, of course, you have a more better periodic table over there. Someone close enough to read the gold. 79 will still be the same. What is the other number? 196.967. There we go. So that was their error. Gold is 79.196.967. Okay, so three things going on here. But you remember all of these from your chemistry. Mm -hmm. 